Okay, you two. Did you buy the 2x2 two two pocket team? Because you thought it would be an easier puzzle to solve than the 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four and 5x5? Five five? Well, what to you? I am going to teach you how to solve this. Because it is the easiest cube out of all of these and many others. So now you will be able to go back to your friends and you will be able to say, hey, I can solve a Rubik's cube. And they will be awed at what you can do. So this is the tutorial for how to solve the 2x2 two two Rubik's cube. And like every other Rubik's cube, you must scramble it. So, scramble. Now, the good thing about this 2x2 two two Rubik's Cube is there are only two algorithms to know for it. So, well, let's start with the first one. It's right at the beginning. It's how to solve the corner pieces. So let's start, let's find a side that we want to start with. We'll start with this white one right here just for easiness because it's right there. And we let's find a corner piece that matches. Now unlike the 3x3 three three where you match all three colors, the 2x2 two two, two, you just match two colors. So this one is white and orange. We'll find the one next to it. So we want to match white and orange. Well that's right down here. So, put it underneath the corner where it should be, like that, and do our first algorithm, which is right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Okay, now you're going to repeat that same algorithm until that piece gets flipped and put in the right spot. So, right inverted down inverted right down 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 there now see there's two whites and those oranges match up as well which is what we're aiming for all four of those to be white and all the colors all the way around to be the same color so now we'll find the next one the green white one. Well, there it is. There's white and there's green. So, put it underneath. Well, it just happens to be already underneath. So, <coughs> now that it's underneath, we do that same algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, down, Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Perfect. Now that's there, that's lined up, and those oranges are still lined up. Now let's find the last corner. Well, it's right there, and it's already underneath where it needs to be. So, like every other one, we have it so it's underneath the other one, the place where it should be. And then do that algorithm. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Perfect. Now, all your colors should match up around on the top layer like that, and that should be solid. If that's what happened, you have completed the first layer. Now that the second layer, or now that the first layer is done, you have to do the second layer. And in order to do the second layer, like matching the corners on the first layer, we match with two colors. So, well, let's, the first thing we have to do is orient all the corners. And to do that, we find one corner piece that can be put in the right spot. Like, well, here's one, green, orange. Well, that's red and green, so we move it there. Now there's green, orange, green, orange, like that. And now, do the second algorithm. So the last algorithm, with this piece, that corner piece that's in the right spot, maybe not flipped the right way, but in the right spot, you 
want to do the last algorithm. So it'll be in the bottom right corner, bottom right of your top face. And now do this algorithm. Up, right, up inverted, left inverted, up, right inverted, up inverted, left. Now you shouldn't have to do that more than two times and they should all go in the right spot. But sometimes you have this parity case where these two are in the right spot but these two are not and that is easy to fix. So when you have this parity case where those two are in the right spot and those two are not or those two are in the right spot and those two are not then what you want to do is so there's the two that are in the right spots find a piece that is in the wrong spot or that is in the wrong spot and do that same algorithm again up right up inverted left inverted up right inverted up inverted left and now they should all be in the wrong spots and now that they're all in the wrong spots you want to twist the layer, the top layer, only the top layer until you find some that match well, they should all match actually so now that they're all in the right spots, see? green, green, orange, orange yellow, orange, yellow, orange red, yellow, red, yellow, they're all in the right spots now so, putting the corner in the right spots remembering the first algorithm we learned we do this. So we do that one. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. Now, that blue color is our top face, is our top color, so now we know that that's in the right spot. And it looks like we're messing up all the rest of the cube but in the end it all works out, trust me. So now that that one's put in the right spot, turn just the top layer counterclockwise one time, one little turn, so that another unsolved bit is in the bottom right corner of your top face. And do that again. Right inverted, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And always, always remember to do the down at the end of each time you do it. Doesn't matter if that's solved, you must do down next. So now that that one's in the right spot as well, put the next one turn just the top layer one time so that the unsolved bit is in the bottom right corner again and do it again right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down and the last time, last corner right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right well then you don't need the down that last time. As an added note, um, I just bought this today. It's the Rubik's Cube globe thing. And um, it took me about 20 seconds to figure out what I had to do. So yeah, it comes off the stand. So when you mess it up and stuff, if you notice, the only reason I'm adding this to this video is because it has some relevant relevance to uh, this. When you mess it up, it turns the same as this. So solving it is the exact same. The only difference is you need to find patterns in this. So like when you're solving this, you find the other red piece that fits in that half. like this. So now that 
that's all there.